welcome to the video tutorial of Access Press Ray Pro and in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure some of the sections of the home page such as this section call to action section the service section and a section just below it that you can put in your website so to do this let's go to uh, log into our WordPress and here go to appearance then go to theme option now in home page setting you can find these are the sections uh, on your home page that you can configure and the fun thing about this is you can drag and place uh, these sections anywhere you want to on your home page so let's begin by configuring the first section that uh, is provided that is call to action let's click on it now make sure you check this enable button otherwise this section won't appear on our home page then here is call to action title right now we have imported demo content so all these contents are from there but you can change this and change to your content and then put a small description then write the text for a re, uh, for button then put a link now you can configure the background color if you want to then click on save option now let's go to the front end and see how that appears on your uh, website's homepage. So this is the website we are working on and just below it is the call to action section that we just configured with a title, description and a button that will take the website viewers to a certain link that you provide on your theme option. So after this, let me show you how you can have this service section which is also known as feature post setting uh, sorry feature post section just click on it and same as call to action that is just uh, you need to enable this section put a feature title let me put features and then put a uh, small text just below it a kind of a description and you can change a bright now uh, you can select a background color from here then here is uh, that option that is provided to you that is you can enable or disable the category as featured post that is if you enable this uh, cate uh, category as featured post then you can directly select a category and show it uh, and all the posts that are assigned to that category will show on this section and you can define the number of posts you want to show and everything but if you disable this then you will have the choice to individually select the post and show it on your home page so if you enable this category then you need to make some post assign it to a category and then select it here so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna make some post and show you how you can do this so go to post and click on add new create a post put some description then set a feature image I'm uploading a file but you can always get it from a media library if you have it there then select a picture and then set it as a feature image now you can make a new category from here but I already have made a category so I'm just selecting it and click on publish now your post is published and assigned to the category you make so after this let's again go to our theme option
and select the category we just created that again let us again edit this thing as I have not saved it so features and then enable this category as feature post and then choose the category that is featured posts and select the number of posts you want to show there and you can put a read more text button and select the number of character you want to show on the home page and click on save option now let's go to our front end well this is the demo content and let's see how this will change as you can see this is the post we just created and the category we assigned and these are the posts that is appearing here so in this way you can uh, configure this featured post or else you can do it by another way that is select the post individually so you need to disable this first and then after you disable it uh, when you have the option to choose the post individually you can also have a font awesome icon instead of a feature image like for example I chose post and then you need to enter a font awesome icon text to do this go to this font awesome uh, icon website and select an icon a search an icon from here or select from the available icons here I'm selecting this one click on it and it will provide you a small text that you need to copy and paste in our theme option just copy it and paste it there similarly let us do this for all the posts <clears throat> select an icon copy the text and paste it there I'm selecting any icon just to show you you can select as per your content the process is pretty much same and then paste it there and after uh, when you select this uh, uh, when you select the option to choose individual post you have the uh, you only have the option of four posts showing on your home page so after this uh, put the read more button text if you want to and then the number of character to show on the feature post and then click on save option now after you save this go to your front end again and see how that will appear on your home page well something might be wrong there let us check what is it okay it's because you haven't uh, checked this on that is show fund awesome icon on feature post we need to click on on so that our font awesome icon will appear on our post instead of the feature images let's again go to our front end and see the feature section so you can see here there is a title description and all the posts with the font awesome icon so in this way you can uh, configure this font uh, feature section so now the next section that we have is below feature section click on it and you need to enable it and select a background color 
<clears throat> then you need to select a page to show as a below feature post so right now as it's a demo content we have we already have a page showing here that is company background let's see how will how that is appearing on our website this is the below features section section and this is the page we created now you can create such page with the help of a plugin that we have suggested to you that is virtual editor let's go to our dash uh, backend and see all the plugins that I have installed during the installation of this theme as you can see we need to install this uh, page builder by site origin plugin to make uh, a page to make such a page which is appearing uh, right now in our website so I'll show you how you can have this kind of page and uh, such a similar kind of page on your website so for this go to pages and click on add new now enter a title any title as you want like um, our website overview or anything and then after you install this page builder uh, plugin you will have this icon here click on there now you can define a rows and add widgets and I'm gonna add a widget which is virtual editor you can put some text here and then click on done now you can also add some rows adding three rows click on insert then you can add widgets there I'm putting an image on this one and in these two I'm gonna put the same widget that we used before that is virtual editor you can just drag and put it there you can duplicate this widget and put it there now let us edit uh, these widgets that we put on the row from image upload you can upload an image so let's uh, let us put an image okay let us select an image so well, I'm selecting this one well let's just see if we have a any other better image Hold this one and select it and then click on done now put some text here enter a title any title enter some content click on done and do the same for this one too put the content and then put the title and then click on done now after you have edited everything then click on publish now the next thing you gotta do is assign that page to that section so for this go to theme option again click on this below section uh, below feature section and choose the page we just created and then click on save option now let's go to our front end and see how that will change in our home page so as you can see here you can have a call to action section feature section and just below it is our uh, below feature section with an image and everything uh, we have put a page that we created with the help of some plugins and widgets so this is how you can configure these three sections so thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any confusion regarding these 
regarding the configuration of these sections then do refer uh, to our online documentation that will guide you better uh, do check it out thank you so much